Hey, what's up? Um, Gary here. We're going to get started setting up an expression pedal on your Nano Cortex. Let's go check it out and do it. Okay, let's get started by taking a brief look at the input output on the back of your Nano Cortex so you can see how you're going to get your expression pedal cabled. Okay, so taking a look at the diagram here, on the back of the Nano Cortex, midway, uh, in, right in the center, okay, you're going to see EXP slash MIDI. That uh, jack, that quarter inch jack, is going to be where you are going to plug the one end of your TRS cable. And remember, TRS cables have two rings at the tip, okay? You're going to be plugging your TRS cable into EXP slash MIDI, and the other end of that is going to go into your expression pedal. Uh, once you get started with that, you're then going to have to make a change on the settings within the Cortex app itself. So I'm going to use my iPad here and show you how to make that change, okay? So once you uh, have your wire, your TRS cable plugged into EXP slash MIDI on the back of the Nano Cortex, then you have the other end plugged into the output for your expression pedal. You then need, need to pair your Nano Cortex to the app and we're going to need to go to settings and make sure that your Nano Cortex is toggled from using MIDI with that uh, shared expression pedal MIDI port to instead be dedicated to an expression pedal. You have to do that on your own. It's, it's not something that's automatic, okay? So on the Cortex app itself, you're going to open it up, pair it up to your Nano Cortex, and then tap in the upper right-hand corner, and we're gonna need to go to settings, okay? Once you're in settings, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to see exp slash midi input behavior this by default will be set to midi okay so you're going to need to tap on this and instead select expression pedal now there's something else you're going to need to do as well it's a really good idea to do every time you plug in your expression pedal and that is make sure that it's calibrated appropriately if you don't do this step that it's not going to potentially register correctly okay so it's always really a good idea to do this so once you've, you've cabled your expression pedal to your Nano Cortex and you've gone in here and you've toggled it to expression pedal, let's go ahead and calibrate. So I'm going to click recalibrate and I'm going to come to my expression pedal and I'm just going to roll it back and forth, heel to toe, all the way back and forth. Don't, uh, don't go like midway and then come back. Make sure you go all the way, full range, okay? So I've just done that a couple of times and now I'm going to hit save. And now that it says the pedal should cover the full range, right? And on, if I start rolling back and forth now, heel to toe, it does because it's now calibrated. So that's how you're going to know that this is calibrated. If you if you hit save and then you start rolling back and forth in this uh, this window and you're not seeing it go all the way to the left or right of that bar, you know you need to recalibrate again or there's potentially a uh, problem with your expression pedal. All right, a quick note on your expression pedal support. Uh, a couple of things I want to make just mention of so that way you know uh, if your pedal is going to work or not. Curve, uh, if your pedal is using either linear or logarithmic curves, both should be able to, to work just fine. Just make sure you're doing those uh, calibrations like I just showed you. Uh, toe switches, if you have toe switches that are built into uh, to turn on and off your expression pedal and bypass different uh, elements. You can totally use those here. I haven't seen any pedal that isn't working right now with toast, which is all of mine are working just fine. Uh, as I would expect, optional as well, there's range control knobs and polarity switches. Uh, those are supported. I unfortunately don't have a pedal that I can test that with, but I have looked at a couple of other folks that uh, have made videos using those and they do seem to be functioning just fine. So I don't think you're going to have a problem there. All right, now that you have your expression pedal cabled up, let's go ahead and take a look at assigning different elements to that expression pedal. The first thing you're going to have to do is go ahead and go into the Cortex Control app and make sure you're paired to your Nano Cortex. And on the main screen, you're gonna go ahead and click on the upper right-hand corner, the three dots, then we're gonna to go to Expression Pedal. And here you're going to see a series of boxes that you can, uh, you can interact with, one range and the other bypass. So imagine, if you will, range is going to be actually using the pedal back and forth, heel to toe, and actually setting some kind of range on a control element that you're going to be moving. That's gain, bass, mid, treble, level. Think 0 to 100% is what you're going to be able to control in those aspects. And then for pre and post effects, uh, this is going to be whatever the contextual element is that you have to be able to control in the same kind of style of a knob 
uh, back and forth. Now, those are fixed. Those aren't something that you are going to be able to control. We'll get into those in just a second on what each one of those are going to be controlling. Um, next, if you look at bypass, so bypass you can think of as uh, like a, an actual physical guitar pedal, okay? If you click the bypass switch, it's going to stop that effect from happening. It's not going to affect or impact that uh, input as it travels through the pedal. Instead, it's just going to send uh, the audio through without any color, without any changes to it. This is exactly what happens in bypass. It's going to turn on and off the pre and the post effects that you have chosen for it, as well as other different elements like capture and cab IR. Okay, so uh, there's different behaviors that are in there as well. We're going to get into that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and take a look now at range. So if I click on one of these boxes, and we're going to use gain as an example here, okay? If I click on gain, you're going to see 0 to 100 on a slider. And uh, the, uh, the thing that I want to call out specifically here is that that is actually the, going to be your percentage of range from 0 to 100 as if you were turning the knob, okay? So if you look right here on my, my nano cortex, uh, if you look right here on the nano cortex, you're going to see that uh, there is no LED light lit up on the, the gain knob, all right? Now, now that I've clicked on this element, if I move heel and toe all the way, on my expression pedal, you see it's it's lighting up zero to 100. Now, if I drag this slider over for range and I say zero to 50, you'll now notice I'm only impacting from zero to 50%. Uh, another way that you can configure this is say, well, I don't know, 30 to 50%. Now watch when I move back and forth heel to toe. We start at 30 and we control to 50 as soon as we move to that knob. This is how you can control how much of that range from zero to 100 watt, because sometimes you don't want it to be zero to 100 when you're rocking that pedal back and forth. So I'm gonna set this back to 100% for a moment and show you one other element that you have to work with within the range category. And that's this like this S curve shape uh, uh, with arrows on it in the upper right hand corner of each one of these boxes. Now I'm, I'm gonna click on base as well. So I show you each box that you activate or is going to remain active in its default state is zero to 100 on range. And you'll see both of them have the same kind of controls. To delete, I'm going to, to just tap on the, the garbage bin right next to that block. But to get back to this uh, this S-curve shaped one, this is actually going to inverse the controls of the range. So if I tap this, it's going to go from 0 to 100 heel to toe to 100 to 0 heel to toe. And let's go ahead and demonstrate that. If I start sliding this now all the way at the heel, this is now showing 100% on that gain. And if I roll it back to toe, you'll notice it now goes to 0. So if we click this in real time back off. Now that I've left the, the uh, expression pedal in the toe position, it's back to 100%. And now if I roll back to the heel position, it goes to zero. One other thing that I want to show you is you're not just controlling one thing. If, I, if in range, I wanted to do something like, let's remove gain. Let's say I wanted to control from zero to 35% on my modulation and my reverb. I would click in both of these boxes, go zero to 35. And now, if you watch, I'm at the heel position all the way back on my expression pedal. If I start to roll this forward, you'll now notice on that green bar that just lit up, I am now affecting both of these at the same time. I know you can't see that on the actual device itself, but you can see it on the uh, the screen that I'm sharing with the actual Cortex control app. We are um, impacting, oh, I guess you can actually, now that I think about it, you are actually being able to see the amount be able to come up there. So zero to 35 is what's being impacted. Now, if I drag both of these to 100%, watch that amount level on those LEDs now go to 100. All right, what I also want to be able to show you briefly with range is what exactly you are going to be controlling with your five different elements of pre-effects and post-effects. So pre-effects, the zero to 100% is your adaptive gate level. Okay, so the amount of suppression you're going to be making from 0% to 100%, that's what is going to be impacted by 
the ability to use an expression pedal here. Your pitch pedal, 0 to 100, is going to be the amount of semitones, negative 12 being 0, plus 12 being 100%. And so that's what's going to allow for you to control that. So obviously moving this range is probably going to be what you're going to want to do because I don't think in most cases you're going to want to go all the way from, from negative 12 semitones up to plus 12 unless that's exactly the, the type of effect you're going for. As far as post effects, your modulation, your delay, and your reverb, all three of these are going to control the mix amount from 0 to 100%. Okay, finally, let's talk about slot and bypass. Uh, all this means is activating and deactivating the different elements that you see listed on the screen here, uh, depending on whether or not you're using the, the expression pedal or potentially clicking a toe switch that is on some expression pedals, if your expression pedal has a toe switch. And it's going to control the activation or deactivation of that specific element. So let's go take a quick look at what elements you have to, to, to see, and you can obviously see these on the screen here. And then we're gonna take a look at these different behaviors so that way you can see how to configure them. So first off, we have capture, so your neural capture, you can turn that on and off. Cab and IR, you can also toggle on and off, as well as pre and post effects. So let's go ahead and tap on one of these, and then let's look at the, the different uh, elements that you see here. So at first, we see heel toe. So let's take a look at heel toe. If, uh, if we're using heel toe, you'll also notice there's an element of switch delay. Okay, so what it means by heel toe for activation or deactivation is it's going to be bypassed when the expression pedal is in the heel position. So once you have your, your expression pedal calibrated and you roll that expression pedal all the way back towards your, you, basically, towards your heel, right, it's going to turn off the effect. So you can think about uh, maybe with like chorus or something like that. If you don't want chorus to be activated, and then all of a sudden you want it to uh, to be able to to have it be activated, and I'll, I'll go to modulation just to make this uh, this actually be something official. Um, and you would simply just roll that pedal forward and uh, and get it to the position you you would like to uh, to ride it into for that uh, that mix level. And then once you're done with that effect and you want to turn it off, you simply just pull the expression pedal back towards yourself towards your heel. And that will go ahead and deactivate that modulation block until you're ready to activate it again by simply rolling the expression pedal forward, okay? And when it says switch and delay, this is simply how long it takes for that effect to stop. So in this case, the default is 600 milliseconds. So it's 600 milliseconds after you have rolled all the way to the heel side of the expression pedal. That's going to automatically deactivate the effect and make that happen. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you this just so you can see the behavior. So if I start moving the expression pedal, you see it automatically turn that modulation block on. Now watch this, I roll it all the way back to, to heel, it's off. I start moving it again, it's, it's on, it's moving around. I roll it back to heel, it's off. So that's the behavior is simply being able to control the, uh, the timing and how you're going to control turning that off if you don't have a heel toe switch or if it's an effect that you don't want to have using a heel toe switch. So now I'm gonna go back to my expression pedal settings again. Scroll back down there, and I've just showed you how that is. Obviously, if I if I move the switch delay back and forth, it's going to give you a different amount of delay for that effect. If that's a little too fast for you, you can bump that up. You can bump it all the way up to 200 milliseconds. If that's too slow for you, you can take it all the way down to zero milliseconds. I don't think anybody's going to want zero milliseconds. That, that's a, that's a really fast come off with that. But if that's what you're wanting, and maybe it's something like a quick semitone drop or something, then sure, that, that may be something for you. Uh, again, same thing as before with range. If you tap in that upper right corner, you can uh, reverse the amount for whatever these effects are, okay? And I'm going ahead and, and turning that back off, and then you have the garbage can in the upper left corner as well, so you can get rid of any of these that you would like. Uh, let's go back over here and take a look at the next one. So, so far we've looked at the first of the three behaviors, which is heel toe. Now we'll take a look at switch. If your actual expression pedal has a toe switch, this is the element that you're going to use if you want to be able to turn on and off the effect by clicking that toe switch on. 
Okay. And with latch emulation, you do have that support here as well, which is, uh, which is definitely nice if you're, if you're into being able to use a, a latch and your actual expression pedal doesn't have a latch uh, gate that you can use to be able to plug in. Finally, stop. Stop is going to be uh, being able to turn off whatever the effect is when you stop moving the expression pedal. So wherever you're at on that range, as soon as you stop, this amount of delay is what's going to be available before that that uh, that impacted block is going to be deactivated. Okay, so as soon as you start moving again with that element with the expression pedal, it will enable that that block for whatever amount of of range that you have configured for it or whatever and then once you actually stop moving okay it's going to stop and turn off that effect there you have it a walkthrough of how to configure an expression pedal on your nano cortex uh, i've went through basically all of the controls that are there obviously you can uh, you can flavor and, and play around with some of those to uh, to get exactly the types of effects you're looking for but as always if you have questions on troubleshooting getting started if you have issues with cabling maybe uh, not knowing if your expression pedal is capable of being able to be used with the nato cortex hit me up in the comments below i will absolutely try my best to help you by digging into manuals or doing whatever i can to uh, to troubleshoot and test for you but until next time i'll see you